So two years ago, I decided to get off social media. I still get help managing the social media accounts for my website, but I don't browse Twitter, Reddit, or YouTube personally anymore. Twitter made me anxious and Reddit and YouTube just ate up all of my time. Undoubtedly, it was one of the best decisions I've made. The problems that pushed me off platforms have only gotten worse. However, I'm a profoundly online person. I still spend considerable time reading and watching things online. My entire livelihood is anchored on a blog that I started 17 years ago. So the prospect of spending all of my downtime sticking to paper books read by candlelight while holding a certain romantic appeal just isn't realistic for me. The solution I found that works for me is to switch from letting an algorithm decide what content you consume to a curated newsfeed. Why RSS remains the best technology for online media. Setting up a curated newsfeed is easy. First, get yourself an RSS reader. So I use Feedly, but there's others. Two, add the blogs and websites and even the social media accounts that you follow. So RSS works for YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, and even old-fashioned blogs such as mine. Finally, read and enjoy. So instead of being given an infinite series of videos trained on your gut-level reactions and attention hijacking thumbnails and rage-inducing headlines, you simply read the stuff you're subscribed to. Too much content? Well, mark it all as read and reset. Or a seemingly interesting source turns out to be a dud? Unsubscribe. You can even organize it into separate folders in case you want to keep your personal work or other interests separate. Curating is a little more work, but far saner than the status quo. So why am I suggesting a return to the 2005 era technology? Didn't the market decide that RSS was a failed technology with Google Reader discontinuing its service and companies increasingly shifting to ever more attention-consuming algorithmic content feeds? Well, I'd like to suggest that just like fast food, our impulses are not always our friends when it comes to online content. The things that happen to easily take root in our mental gardens are not generally the plants we intend to cultivate. Content curation is ever slightly more work than an algorithm. It requires you to manually opt in to every new source. It also requires regular pruning to avoid having too much stuff to read and watch. New content is also somewhat harder to find, although I find if you follow a few aggregator blogs or channels like Marginal Revolution, this isn't so difficult. What's difficult is weaning yourself off of a feed that gives you endless more content. Modern feeds work perfectly as a Skinner box on a variable reinforcement schedule. The content is not always great, but occasional gems keep you pecking the button for more and more. But if you can navigate the transition, a curated feed is a much saner way to consume online content.